Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new i'm amanda and today we are just going to kind of jump into it we got a few things from walmart here that i'm showing you and i'm super excited so we obviously got a silverware set and then this tray and i'm going to rearrange some of the drawers in the kitchen and try and make it flow a little bit better so let's get to it So this is currently how I have the kitchen set up. Who knows, I'll probably go back and change some things around, but you know, I have never met a kitchen I didn't like. <laughs> and for some reason, I don't know, this kitchen kind of aggravates me with the drawers and I can't figure them out and how to make the kitchen flow. I don't know, I don't know what's wrong with me. But this is one of the things that we have talked about doing is remodeling the kitchen. We've actually talked about bringing in a designer and seeing what they suggest and just how to make the kitchen flow and just make it a lot better but now i'm just going to show you how the drawers are set up and then i also wanted to show you a new skillet that we picked up also from walmart and i'm actually going to be using the skillet later in the video for the recipe so you will have to stay tuned for that but after this you can see that the kitchen is all cleaned Minus the strawberries, I'm letting them dry because I just washed them not too long ago. And then I'm going to go ahead and throw our sheets into the washer and then move on into the living room and start picking things up in there.
I want you guys to meet Miss Maxine, Miss Max. She has been with us for a while. We had her since she was a kitten because one of our cats got out when we had a winter storm and she got pregnant. We ended up keeping a kitten and we found some amazing homes for the other ones and then our cats got fixed. So, <laughs> But she has been chewing on my one plant that I have on the table next to the couch so it's missing I don't know if you caught it but sometimes I put it up and I just forget to put it back but anyways we are going to move into the bedroom now and start making the bed and once I got done fighting with this fitted sheet here I realized that I put it on the wrong way so that's probably why I was fighting with it but honestly this day I was just kind of I don't know wanting it to be over i guess so i didn't even worry about going back and fixing it it is what it is and that's it <laughs> So before with the decorative pillows, we did not have the king size pillow case, pillows for the cases, but I totally forgot that we had a couple for when my son used them in his room. But now since he got new pillows, I went ahead and took the king size ones and used them for our decorative pillows. But we honestly don't like king size pillows because we tend to, well, Okay, so the ones that we've had before, it was always like in the middle would get super flat and then it just wasn't comfortable using them because we'd constantly end up back into the middle because it's flat and yeah, so we've never had really good luck with them. And also with this duvet cover, I honestly kind of regret getting it. Like it's a whole thing and it's a lot to work with. <laughs> But now we are going to get into the decorating part. So this is everything I have and I'm super excited. I use these for the back of the windows, but now I want to change out my wreath in the living room that I have where my wall basket is. So I'm going to put that together now. Now that I have all the picks in the wreath, I'm going to take these plastic ties here and kind of just go around and see where I need to place them to hold the picks to the wreath and then I'm going to change my wreaths out. So I absolutely love how this wreath turned out and now all of the greenery in the living room flows 
and it just looks so good. I did go back and fluff it up a little more, but it looks amazing. So now we are going to move into the hallway and I'm going to start wiping down the walls. So as you seen earlier, I had four windows to hang up, our son's crib spring frame, and then I'm also gonna be using the wreath from the living room. I cannot wait to show you guys how all of this turned out. And with the frame, we are going to use that for our next child when it's time for them to go in the crib. And that's just going to be a piece that's very sentimental, I think is how you say it, to me, to our family, that both of our kids used it. And that's definitely something that I don't want to part with. So if you're the same way, then hopefully this gives you an idea because I got this off of Pinterest and I will show you how they had it set up to how I have mine set up, but I'm just so excited. So enough rambling, let's get these walls cleaned. So these are the two pieces that I want to put together. And I think this turned out so beautiful. It's such an easy, simple piece, but I absolutely love it. And like I said, I wanted to show you how they had it set up on Pinterest, but now to the windows. And then I actually want to go to Target this weekend because they have a matching garland. That's where I got the wreath from. So I kind of wanted to make it flow a little better and I just think it's gonna look so good in there. We are done decorating. It is time to move on to the recipe. This is a Pinterest recipe. It is called Sausage, Pepper, and Onion Tortellini Skillet. So I'm going to have it linked below in the description because I made it differently than how the recipe actually goes but I am going to start off with a pot of water and get it on the stove ready to boil. And then in my skillet, I'm going to put two tablespoons of oil, one red and orange bell pepper, and one small Vidalia onion. Now that my pot of water is boiling, I grabbed a cheese lover tortellini and I'm going to go ahead and put that in the boiling water and it cooks for about three minutes and then I'm going to drain it and set it aside. And for the peppers and onions, I'm cooking them until they start to soften up and then I'm going to put in some meatballs and this recipe does call for sausage meatballs but I was trying to just make it super easy. So I went ahead and grabbed some frozen ones and I could have sworn that they actually had sausage ones, but I don't know. I was just in a rush trying to get out of the store and this is what I grabbed. So like I said, I'm going to go ahead and drain the pasta and set it aside. Now we are going to go back to the skillet and add a third cup of tomato sauce and one cup of heavy cream.
So now that everything is stirred up, we are going to add two teaspoons of garlic. So now we are going to add one and a half teaspoons of Herbe de Provence, which I probably butchered, so I apologize. And then we are going to add a fourth teaspoon of red pepper flakes. So now we are just going to add the pasta into the skillet, mix it up and cook it for a couple more minutes. But I definitely think this is an easy weekday dinner idea, especially if you use the frozen meatballs. But I definitely want to go back and use the actual sausage. I mean, sausage is delicious, right? So it has to make the dish even better. But if you guys try this recipe, let me know down in the comments below what you think about it. We thought it was so good. We are definitely saving it. And if you guys are not subscribed, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button. It would really mean a lot to me. Let me know what you guys think about this video down below, and I will see you in my next one.